Okay, so that's us all ready to run. And as you can see, I've put the a little Olfi uh, camera in here and used a little bit of the rubber thing. I don't know if you'll be able to see in there, but there's uh, I just cut the top bit out so I could get to the button. Simply one quick press on the red one here, and that starts them. If you want to stop, kill the motors, just hold it down for a couple of seconds and it stops them. And you get beeps back off the actual transmitter. That's rather good. So this is the first, literally the first takeoff. So let's hope we get a smooth one. Well, that is smooth, I must admit. Wow, that is smooth. There's no altitude holder with this, but to be honest, when it holds like that, you don't really need it, do you? <laughs> that is lovely. There's quite a weight there, actually. I'll put the weight on with the, uh, with the camera, but that is quite a weight. And lovely smooth. Actually, having said this um, transmitter, I wasn't particularly... I thought it felt a bit plastic. Um, well, very plastic, actually. It's actually really smooth to use, so yeah, can't really knock that nice and gentle. Ideal for video in those low rates. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh, I quite like being proved wrong. <laughs> it's actually one of the smoothest flies I've ever had, I think, and quiet as well. A couple of the recent ones I've been reviewing have been quite noisy. And of course, if you wanted to, with the with, well, with the Olfi especially, you've got. Um, Got an app with it as well, so you could use Wi-Fi if you liked, or if it uses something like the original Yami Yi, you could use full FPV on 5.8. So that is really smart. Whoa, well, that's oh, it's got a bit of a move on as well. And this is still in low rate, so oh yeah. Whoa. God, that really does get a shift on. I like it. Whoa. Well, we'll definitely be playing with the... Uh, take all the weight off and everything. And even with all that weight on it, it's still holding really nicely. Well done. So I'm going to put it up in uh, high rate, so you just get a little beep there. Oh, it was. I think that was in high rates then. This is high rates here. That video's going to look great. <laughs> <laughs> nice! So that's the yaw in high rates. Let's bring it in a bit closer for us. That's high rates and that's low rates. Ah, oh, yeah, there's a huge difference. Wait, that's really nice. And that's low rates and that is high rates. That is really nice. And the LEDs are bright. I mean, it's a really lousy uh, day up here today. Very dark. Nearly the shortest day as well. But that is very smart indeed. Yeah, you can certainly see those LEDs. Even from here, I can still see them really easy. So almost from above. And certainly that headlight. I don't even think we get any any vibration at all. Doesn't feel any. I can't feel any at all, so that camera should be pretty good. And I haven't worked on it yet. I haven't put anything on it that will uh, anti-vibration or anything. It's really precise. Wow, that is precise. That is really nice. <laughs> that is nice. So that's low rates. There's nothing really aggressive about it. Lovely smooth flyer. Really nice. Really cool. Okay, I'm going to flick it up into high rates. Actually, if I come past and we're in low and then up into high. Whoa, yeah, it certainly makes a difference. Whoa, lovely. This thing's gorgeous. Love it. That is really smart. So let's do a punch out. Whoa, it's not happy flipping, I must admit. I thought that would just flip as easy as anything. God, it really didn't. And it was a job to recover, to be honest. Yeah, no, it's, ooh. <laughs> oh, I don't really want to deck this one. 
Ah, it's not going to stop me though, is it, to be fair? No, it's not going to. It is not going to flip. I can't believe that. Not even in the slightest. It really just does not want to know. And it's all mucks up the gyro for about two or three seconds. And then it uh, comes back on. It's fine, but it's <laughs> you get a little bit nervous because it's just like you don't feel as though it's in much control. Oh, that's a real shame. Go on, over you go. Whoa, bang. See what I mean? <laughs> it will not recover. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm so gutted. I should have known it wasn't going to flip. Well, I did know it wasn't going to flip, actually. Whoa, and it's not in safety mode either. Whoa, it still kept spinning. I am surprised at that. Oh dear, broken prop. Oh dear, dirty. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, I ain't feel the wind. That was very disappointed. Oh, upset about that. Tell you. Whoa, yeah, that is bad. Oh dear, what a shame. Beautiful fly though, bad pilot. Okay, so I've stuck it in the air and cupboard of shame and dried out the motors as best I can. They were a bit muddy and a bit wet. And as you can see, it's all pretty good actually. So uh, a good athlete is always measured by whether or not you can get back up and complete the race. So let's see whether this can com complete the review. <laughs> So we're back in the relative safety of the garden, I would say. I'm not too sure that's the way the quad's going to view it. I haven't calibrated it at all. Um, I'm just going to see how we get on. Wow. <laughs> I did take a fair old tumble, I tell you. Not a murmur on it. Not a slightest of murmurs. So you have to... You have to hold it and then flip it. Whoa, it does go fast, I tell you. <laughs> you hear those motors kick in. <laughs> Beautiful recovery. It really is such a smooth flyer. See what I mean? It just looks as though it wants to flip, but um, I think because you can't actually kill the motors when you actually drop the throttle right off, it's still on sort of tick over. Just a little bit anyway. Bring it into land, see what happens. Yeah, they just sit and tick over, you see, that's why it won't do it. Whoops! <laughs> Talk about tight turns. Awesome, really, really nice. <laughs> that is one nice piece of kit. The battery's got to be getting low, it's giving me so much performance, it's really good. I can usually kill it by giving it full throttle, so it's just up the rates. And even then, it's still not. Hey, here we go. We've got flash. Hey, look. Can you hear that? The actual um, transmitter's beeping as well. So that is brilliant. So that was away from you. And you were flying on FPV. Not only have we got these really bright LEDs, but you've also got the fact that the, the transmitter is beeping away like that. Superb. Finally getting there, I think we're actually losing power. Yeah, yes, finally. That is actually gone. 
Wow. <laughs> we exactly killed the trolls. Yeah, the interesting thing is, if you lose signal, it makes, well, I don't know if it'll make a different noise, but when I've disconnected it before, there you go, you've got a different noise out of it now because it's lost signal. So, I mean, it's a really good little system. It was me knocking this transmitter at the beginning. <laughs> I'm enjoying this being wrong on reviews. Nice piece of kit. Okay, so what did I think of it? Well, there's loads of benefits on it, uh, but I'm just going to say one little thing I think is a slight negative on it. The way the battery connects, uh, I'm not too worried about it not having an on-off switch. It's not the end of the world by any means. But once you actually plug the battery in, you can't actually get to the connector itself to pull it back out again. You have to wrench on these wires, and I just think after a while these wires are going to get damaged or you're going to wind up pulling one of the terminals out or something. Uh, it might not happen, but I've got a funny feeling it will after a while, depending on how much you're going to use it, obviously. Uh, so that could have been just a bit better. I might actually make something up that I can just have there that I can, I can pull it in and out of. Wouldn't be difficult to do, but it would have been nice if it was on. That being said, that's about it on the negatives, I really think. Uh, the quad is lovely, really nice to fly, so smooth, um, it's brilliant. Uh, it's nice difference in high and low rates and uh, very smooth for a, uh, if you wanted it as a camera base. Uh, and I like the fact that sort of everything's come with it, everything's clipped down nicely. Uh, it's well manufactured. I like the fact that you've got the short landing gear on, but if you want it for camera, you obviously put the long landing gear on. The uh, LEDs really bright and really nice and gave you information as well. Uh, the headlight was absolutely superb and, uh, and was brilliant over a terrific range. It was really is good. Very impressed. On to actually flying it and using the transmitter. I wasn't actually expecting that much off this transmitter. I didn't actually like the look of it and it looks very cheap and plastic to be perfectly honest. But it actually performs really well. Nice and smooth. Uh, and you could you could just fly well as, as good as anything I think I would argue really is nice uh, having the brushless motors obviously helps as well the no altitude hold quite nice in a way because you can drop it out the sky really quick or you can ascend really quick uh, some of the altitude holds tend to sort of restrict that uh, so it is nice doing that it wouldn't manually flip um, but it did make a half reasonable plow for the field I must admit that the motors were actually chopped clogged up with uh, mud I managed to get all that out and dried out and it didn't actually affect anything didn't even have to calibrate it afterwards just had to replace a couple of props so that was a big hit and um, it, it's done really well the uh, the reason it won't flip a uh, part of the reason is you can't actually get the throttle right off it just goes into an idle mode so uh, you, need, you usually need to shut it right off to get a, a good flip out of it anyway but that being said it's not the end of the world <laughs> by any means and it's certainly not geared for doing that. The, uh, also I like the way you get a bit of telemetry back so you're starting to get to the edge of uh, range and you, it starts to beep when the battery is running low on the quad it starts to beep it's brilliant you know because uh, if you're quite away from you you can't always hear the alerts that are on the actual quads themselves so they've really thought about that. So then they put everything in they also put in the little camera cage as well I modded mine slightly just cut a hole through the top so I could just turn the camera on and off it's camera cage, not a gimbal, and uh, it's got the tiniest amount of anti-vibration in there. And so that was fair play to the uh, quad itself, how smooth and stable it was. That it got a bit of jello, but it wasn't massive. Um, and actually, uh, I might well put an anti-dampening thing between this and the actual quad. And then, actually, you'd have really smooth video without any problem whatsoever. The other thing I might do is uh, see if it will take the weight of the gimbal, uh, and if it does, then obviously, cracky, you'd be well. You'd have a, such an awesome system; it would be great, and you could run FPV off it as well, depending on what sort of camera you put on it. So, all in all, one amazing quad for the money, I think. Absolutely superb. Mm -hmm.